Eva Markusevicuda. I work as an expert for consulting and research SME called Smart Continent LT, which is based in Vilnius. Well, I had quite a bit of tasks which were very different. We had one task which was about measuring passenger experience and actually indicators that describe passenger experience. Another one was about trial of the Metpex tools and now I have a task that is about strategy making and transport policy. So they are all quite different but in the end they connect between themselves and that's what Metpex is about. Well, it's an interesting project because it focuses on making public transport better for everyone. I believe in public transport as a mean of traveling and I would like that other people would also feel happy in it. I don't have any mobility issues or something like that and sometimes I think about people who have those issues and how they feel for them a little step could be a huge step and things we don't notice for, for other people are extremely important and that's why I think that Medpex could be a huge help for such people. Well, of course, the tools, we worked so hard on them and we did the trial and the results were quite positive, I think. The stakeholders liked the tools and we got loads of great information. And it's also the new knowledge that was accumulated in one place and different experts from different fields working together to develop those indicators and actually something that describes public transport in more objective way, which is I think amazing. Well, to know what to improve, first we have to know what is wrong or what could be improved. And Medpex could be help here because it lets you reach uh, some users that usually don't maybe sound their opinions and it helps you to see the problems from the perspective of the user and in the whole journey. Other tools, they only look at part of the journey. For example, bus operator will only evaluate their own service and Medpex, it will see the whole journey from door to door, and that is important and amazing. We did get quite high satisfaction scores, but satisfaction scores from disabled users and mobility restricted were a bit lower, so the transport operators said that they would look into that because we have, I think it's up about 8 or 9 percent of population that has some sort of disability, not uh, necessarily mobility restriction, but still they do have it and it should be addressed now.